Hey guys, it's late now, it's afternoon, it's nearly 2 o'clock. <laughs> Been working on school all day. Except for that time where I went to the bathroom, and the other time where I went to the bathroom, and the time where I had some food, and the other time I had some food. <laughs> oh, and the times I started the, the laundry machine. But other than that, I worked on school all day. I still haven't gotten the videos posted. The 20 seconds is still sitting on my desktop right there. I don't need to edit the, uh, yesterday's, whatever it's called, the 23rds. <laughs> um, that shouldn't be difficult. It's all more of a one take thing, so I just need to put the uh, date vlog number and then add the end sequence, the little picture. So it's like 10 15 minutes to do that one. I got a, uh, a letter today. It is packing slips for school materials. Because they want their stuff back. <laughs> I think next Monday? Let's see. Yeah, the first. Thursday, June 1st. It's my last day of school, I believe. Actually, I can double check here. Ow. I feel like almost like a growing pain in my hand that I'm holding my camera with. was yesterday. She said, seven more days of school, woot woot. So the first of June is probably going to be my last day of school. Wow. Yeah, so they want our town. They want this book back. I um, actually own a copy. Taking some of my books off my shelf, and I have this book. It's smaller, but. And then they want the Anthology of American Literature, and To Kill a Mockingbird, and they want Our Town Again, and they want another To Kill a Mockingbird. <laughs> and so basically, they want my. They want Our Town, To Kill a Mockingbird, and then the Geometry book, the Algebra. What's the word? Textbook. Uh, history textbook and English textbook. And I get to keep a compass, a plastic ruler, and a projector. So, that's all. Everything except for this book is sitting on my desk in the library. I'm not sure really, really why we call it a library. There's only two shelves there now. But, so we'll keep most, about half of our books. Going through that box there, uh, three or four days ago. It's all computer parts, so it's RAM and so there's a couple of hard drives and a lot of stuff. But I have a this is an Ethernet card. Uh, this is my hard drive. I'm not gonna get rid of that, but it's some cables and I think those might be video cards, video or interface cards. But I don't have use for them. I don't have anything that plugs into them, so I'm gonna sell them or give them goodwill or something. And then I need to decide what to do with my. I'm a really. Well, my dad's really old laptop from like 1990. Not 1990, but like 2000. That era. Really old, runs XP, barely. Um. You know, a real laptop a friend gave me to try and fix, but I never got around to it. And then. Then there's another one. I don't know what happened to it. All of a sudden, I would use it quite often, and then when I just I couldn't get it to boot. So I don't, it's not the hard drive because the hard drive that was in there is now in this computer. So 
two o'clock now. <laughs> so yeah. <sighs> Don't have much to say. This camera still seems to be doing okay. Um, I haven't tested the photo stuff on it again, but. Those flowers are like really dead up there. Um, tonight, um, I'm gonna go help put flags in one of our uh, cemeteries here in town. And then I'm gonna leave that a little bit early and go to a church activity at a park that's um, just kind of like around the corner, down the street, and around another corner. <laughs> I'm going to play kickball. That'll be fun. So I might try and set up the camera for part of it. Maybe. <laughs> so yeah. Not a lot going on today. Um, that day I went to the store yesterday and got these, uh... It's pretty good. Um, we don't have yogurt. You can do that hot or cold. I eat it cold with milk. So. I'll throw that container away because it's been a lot of hours since I ate that. They have a bunch of other flavors, but that's just the one that Dad and I picked out. And then my tripod should be here fairly soon. Let's see if my dad has bought Amazon. He probably has. Nope. I think I've explained this before. But the way that the uh, circle works is in its ARP spoofing. Which is technically illegal. So basically, there, the device knows your MAC address. So each device has a uni unique MAC address. That's kind of like a, a name, a name that the computers can understand for each other. And so, the circle can say, "Oh, this MAC address." This person, whoever owns this computer, they can't access Facebook or Google. And then it'll just block Facebook and Google and you'll access everything else, or it'll cut off all internet access. So it's... Yeah. So the way attackers, like... Digital thieves will set up an ARP, ARP spoof on your device, on your net, on your network, and so all of the traffic will go through them and then through your router, or through your through your router, through them and then through your ISP, so they can see everything you're doing. And so if they don't want to allow you to access Facebook or access this one specific website, well, they can even set up a redirect so that you try and access Facebook, he gives you a fake Facebook so that they get your account logins. So that's what ARP spoofing does. It's technically illegal. Some, peeps, some places aren't super rigid about it. It's hard to track sometimes. 